Investing under the CPF Investment Scheme In this video, you will learn about the CPF Investment Scheme, eligibility for investing under CPF IS, investment products under CPF IS, using CPF savings for investments, and charges for the investment products. The CPF Investment Scheme gives you the option of investing your ordinary account and special account savings in a wide range of investments. Consider investing your CPF savings only if you are confident of earning more than the current CPF interest rates. Otherwise, you can always leave your CPF savings in your CPF accounts to earn the risk-free interest. You can invest under CPF IS if you are at least 18 years old, not an undischarged bankrupt. You can invest your ordinary account savings after setting aside $20,000 in your ordinary account. You can invest your special account savings after setting aside $40,000 in your special account. From 1st October 2018, new CPF IS investors will need to take the self-awareness questionnaire before they can start investing under CPF IS. There are various investment products under CPF IS. You should take time to understand the product before making any investment decision. You may refer to the tutorial guides for further information on the various investment products under CPF IS. Only monies in excess of $20,000 in your ordinary account and $40,000 in your special account can be used for investment under CPF IS. Take note that there are further limits imposed on some investment products which are computed based on your investable savings. Investable savings refer to the sum of your ordinary account balance and the amount of ordinary account savings you have withdrawn for investment and education. Of your investable savings, you can only invest up to 35% in stocks and 10% in gold also known as the stock and gold limits. You will need to pay fees to product providers when you invest. These are known as investment charges. In this example, Mr. Tan buys 1,000 units of Unit Trust A at a cost of $10,000 via a bank. On the other hand, Miss Lee buys 1,000 units of Unit Trust B, also at a cost of $10,000 via a bank. Note that the annual expense charges for Unit Trust B is higher than Unit Trust A. Assuming that both Unit Trusts have an annual return of 5%, Miss Lee's investment returns will be lower due to the higher investment charges. Therefore, it is important to check with the agent banks and product providers on the full range of charges payable before you purchase an investment product. Remember, investments come with risks and could impact your retirement nest egg. Only invest when you can take the risks of investments, can afford to invest, have the time to monitor your investments, and are confident of earning more than the CPF interest rates.